Apart from the stunning New Mexico landscape he drives through each morning, George Aldrich's daily commute is much like any other. He's an easygoing guy who's been in the same job for nearly 40 years, but it's no ordinary job. George smells anything and everything, even the things most of us find disgusting. I try to keep my uh, sense of smell in tune, and so I play games with, with odors where other people might smell something and just move on. George isn't disturbed or anything. It's just how he earns his living. My friends and family think I'm a little crazy. George Aldrich works for NASA, and at their White Sands test facility, his nose reigns supreme. All the materials that go inside the capsule with the astronauts has to go through certain tests. And so I'm in charge of, of doing toxicity and odor testing. I use my sense of smell for 38 years to uh, smell stuff before it goes into space. What really makes me important to NASA is that I actually use my sense of smell to help protect the astronauts from obnoxious odors in space. Incredibly, the success of entire missions depends on NASA's number one nasal knot. If George's nose isn't performing at the very peak of its abilities, the consequences are serious. Susanna Harper is the manager of the nasal lab. Here on the ground, if there's some kind of a foul odor, maybe someone was in the bathroom or cut an onion open, uh, it eventually airs out. And so what is causing that uh, smell to go away is really the dilution of additional air coming in. Uh, but when we're in the space station or the shuttle, there is no additional air. We don't open a window and get some fresh air in there. Like the rest of us mere mortals, George can detect more than 10,000 different smells using up to 400 nasal receptors. Unlike the rest of us, he uses them to their full capacity every day. What we have to do is here on the ground verify that uh, we're not sending new odors up there because once they're up there, they're stuck there. The astronauts are actually allowed to have a small bag of personal belongings that usually includes things like a Bible, uh, family photos. Uh, we have an astronaut that wanted to build a ship in a bottle. And so we were looking for different types of glues. Everybody knows how that is. It, you know, it just, it reeks of odor. Even the smallest smell can hang around for years and years. And that not only affects the astronauts' usefulness, it can also make them sick. If George fails to identify just one problematic pong, a whole mission could be in jeopardy.